Hello everybody, Lord Verminard back again in SnowRunner. We are continuing continuing along in Amur, uh, Erska River. So if you remember last time, in the last episode, we got these bridges done. And I was trying to complete this job of bringing this cabin to the fishing camp. Like It looks like I'm going to have a interesting time getting it up into this area as well but we'll worry about that later um we got it this far i could not find a place to get up onto this little island area here um and i was using the i was using the um the bandit so i think i am going to try the azov antarctic this time assuming that i can get it through this mess right here this is going to be difficult um, but I'll give it my best shot. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Uh, one thing I want to do is I, I'm definitely going to need a crane. Um, some astute viewers might be, might notice that, um, so do I want to use the bigger one or the little one? The little one fits better. Uh, some astute viewers are... Noticing that uh, you can't normally do that with the Azov, but you can on my game. <laughs> I have made some changes. Uh, I go over the changes that I made in uh, in the first couple episodes. Uh, I talk about it. Mostly the first one. If you haven't watched that one, go back and, and check that one out. Um, yeah, so there's some changes made. Um, lots of them. And honestly, I feel like it balances the game out a little bit better. Doesn't necessarily make it easy mode. It does improve some things, ab absolutely. Um, but also, there are some things that are unnecessarily difficult in this game, I think. Oh. Uh, and that kind of stuff kind of pisses me off. You know? I, it, there's no reason to artificially pump up the difficulty of the game just for some arbitrary reason. And I feel like there's a lot of balancing changes that were made that uh, are just not super effective. So anyway. All right. I remember last time I bonked pretty hard on this, so let's slow it down a little bit. There we go. Now, I did flip this over somewhere on this road the last time I tried to get it through. So I might have to try to find an alternate route or, I don't know, something different. But we'll give it a shot. I mean, I, f I feel like almost every episode, I start off the episode and flip over a truck almost immediately. So, I mean, if we have to do that to get it out of the way, then I guess that's okay with me as well. <laughs> right, I cannot see what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. We gotta go this way, right? Yep. Okay. Here we go. I kind of don't exactly remember how the road goes here, so... I suppose I don't need to... Whoa, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Now, see, I probably could have, like, skied down this hill right here. And that would have gotten me to the ice. Um. And then I could have carefully gone along here. But see, I don't know where I would go back up. That's the hard part. Probably right here, I guess, but I feel like this is steeper than it appears to be. Well, maybe it's not. So I don't know what I'm going to do here. I think... I'm almost positive that it's not going to be able to make it through some of this stuff. Right here and here. Like, this is where the Femme tipped over, because it couldn't make it through there. And this thing's probably just about as wide as the Femme is. So maybe I should try and, uh... I should try to go down this hill. Oh crap, there's a rock there. All right. 
Uh, okay, so I go down this bit and kind of go to the right a little. Should be okay. Ride the brakes a bit. Okay, sure. Well, that went okay. Oh, come on. What did I hit? Okay, so I cannot get to the ice from here. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> All right. Change of plans. Let's, uh... Before I get myself in too much trouble here, let's back up. Come on, you can do it, you big beast. Sure, go ahead and take a little more damage, that's fine. Alright. <clears throat> I apologize for my voice, I've been, I've recorded, this is my third video today. So, my voice is a little bit tired, I apologize for that. It happens. Uh-oh. I probably should have backed it up to get myself more room there. Damn it. Ah, I should have just went the other way around. I wonder if there's anything I can winch to to pick it up. It does not look like there is. Two little flimsy trees. <laughs> right. We got like one little pole. All right, come on, winch. I don't know what you're doing here, but... Yep, I just made that tree phase through the universe. That's pretty cool. Yeah, all these are... All these are little flimsy trees, aren't they? Crap. Is there any... Oh, there's one big tree there, but I don't think I can reach it. Nope. Absolutely can't. Um... Oh, wait, I know what I can do. Hold on, hold on. Yes, we can do this. I am absolutely not against using the crane to pogo. Excellent. Okay, can I go forward here? Absolutely, I can. Hell yeah. <laughs> yes. That's how you do it. Advanced snowrunner technique. If you're, if you're falling on your right side, if you can... <clears throat> it, with, with these cranes, that's one good thing about them. Uh, if you're getting ready to tip on your right side and you're fast with switching to um, the utility mode or whatever, and then... Uh, and then hitting the crane activation, you can, like, the, the truck, if once the crane animation starts, like, the, the unfolding of the crane starts, even if the truck flips over and stalls, the crane will continue to extend. And nine times out of ten, it will kind of, like, bounce it back up. I know that's, you know, some of you probably already know that trick from SnowRunner. Those of you that are new to the game or have never seen it before, that's a thing you can do. Like I said, it usually requires some pretty quick, um, you know, keyboard motions, or if you're using a controller on, and you're playing it on a console, uh, it, I don't know, I, I play it on keyboard, so I have no idea, um, what it's like to play it with a controller, but, <clears throat> actually that's not true, I did try it once and I absolutely hated it, so then I went back to using the keyboard. <laughs> As I do for most things with games, I have gotten very, very used to playing stuff with keyboard, and so now it's my weapon of choice most of the time. I figured while I'm here, I may as well rescue this thing.
I don't know if I'm going to have any capacity to bring this back to the trailer store anytime soon, but I'll at least put it in a place where it can be it can be grabbed and taken back to the trailer store. Okay, so here, I'm wondering if I can get up this. Actually, not this. This is that bridge, right? So this is a this is a prime location for flipping over. Yeah, see, there we go. I got the I got the crane out. Um. And it did not save me. Crap. Like, so you can still activate the anchor too while you're while you're flipped over. But um. Dang it. Well, I tried. Okay, so how else can I go this way? Because I don't think it's going to work that way very easily. I'm actually kind of thinking maybe going through the, through the ice this way. And getting on this road. The Femme made it through that no problem. Let's try that. And if I fail this time around, then... Uh, we'll try an alternative solution. Now the next thing is, how do I actually get down from here? Can I do that? Okay, it'd probably be better to go over this bridge. Up and over this way. That is a big rock right there. All right. Okay, there we go. Um, now, I don't exactly remember. There's a... There's a trick to going through this part without falling through the ice. I, I kind of think that this can go through most ice without much trouble, even if it falls through, but um, if I can avoid that from happening, then I will. All right, we're sinking a little. This truck is very heavy. But that's kind of the reason why I wanted to, to use it to, like, go through that water and deliver that stupid cabin. Oh, God. Yeah, we're just breaking all the ice here. now. 
All right, I think most of the time this like really clear ice is usually not in danger of falling through it. Watch it make a liar out of me now. Uh-oh, am I going to run out of ice? Ah, uh, what the hell is this? All right. Really? I can't... I can't connect to this tree? Ugh. All right. That's just a safety line right there. Okay, where exactly am I going? Okay, the road is right up here. <clears throat> I see it right there. There we go. All right. Okay, so now all I gotta do is not flip over on this road. And everything should be fine. How is everybody doing, by the way? I hope everybody is doing great. It actually rained a little bit today. For the first time in several weeks. Kind of unbelievable. This has been the worst drought that I can remember. It wasn't a lot. It was just for a little bit, but it did kind of cool things off a little bit. It's just been so hot. I think that's probably the hardest part. Now, I'm still going to have to get this thing down to the river. And I think I'm just going to try and go the way that I went with the... Oh my god. I'm going to try and go the way that I went with the bandit. And hope for the best. I'm pretty sure this will go through the water a lot easier. It's got bigger tires, it's got more power, it's got more clearance. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> All right, so I went down here before. Yeah, it looks like there's probably a way to go that way, but I don't think this is the kind of vehicle to be testing that. If I had an autonomous winch, then perhaps. But this thing is, you know, kind of extra tippy. So I think I want to try to go as safe as possible here. And that means basically perpendicular to the... Um... The slope. 
angle. That probably would have been more than one damage to the gas tank. <laughs> Alright, we are stuck on this rock. There we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, as expected, it is absolutely plowing through this. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, you guys remember the bandit was struggling really hard to get through here. <clears throat> it does appear as though there are lots of rocks and crap on the bottom of the on the bottom of the river though, so that does seem to kind of disrupt things a bit. So I wonder which way I should try to go up. Should I try to go up that rock that was on that side? Or should I try to go over here? I kind of want to just see if I can go up this rock. Yeah, it's just like plowing through this like nothing. Yeah, I don't know what direction I have to go to to approach this thing, but I think what I'm going to try to do is um, turn it around if I can. I have a feeling I'm going to get Austin Powers in here. Yep, I absolutely am. All right, I guess we need to, I guess we need a little more space. I'm just waiting for this to, like, drop off <laughs> and completely dunk me. I'm actually quite amazed at how well this thing is going through this. I mean, I always knew this truck was really good at this kind of stuff, but this is, um, actually pretty amazing. Can I get up here? I cannot. All right, so this rock being a different color was just a ruse. I didn't think that this looked like a viable way up, but now we know for sure that it's not. So, we got to find another way. Let's just submarine our way around here. <laughs> and going perpendicular with the water is usually not a good idea. All right. How do we get up? It kind of looks like it can climb that. I bet it probably can in reverse. Um. Hmm. Not quite. Right, how do we get up there? 
I'm, I'm just not seeing a good place. I was kind of trying to climb that one, but not really. not getting up that I don't see a place to get up here I'm kind of at a loss as to what I'm supposed to be doing here this is like this is one of the dumbest missions I've ever seen in this game because this is all just like sheer ice like I just don't see a viable way up there. <laughs> Can you imagine this thing just like plowing against a fast moving Arctic river like this being buried like six feet up to the doors <laughs> in the water? <laughs> That's a little bit insane. Oh. Kind of trying to. But not really. Alright, it's not as deep here. That's not going to work. Look at this. I bet it wants you to cross right here. I bet this is it. Yep, this is it right here. Those cheeky bastards. They didn't give you any indication whatsoever of where you're supposed to do this. I mean, that's kind of... So, like, when you come down from this, when you're picking up all this crap and you come down this hill, this is, like, basically right where you're at. I tried to cross over here by making a bridge, but that was very deep. See, I think I'm probably going to have to, uh, I'm probably going to have to reverse it up this. All right, camera, what are you doing here? Like, okay. Yeah, I'm either going to have to reverse it or, or something here. Let me see. Well, that's not doing it either. Hmm.
for God's sakes, come on, just go up this thing. go there we go there we go don't flip over God. I still can't do it. Like, I really thought this was going to get me up there. Okay, this is ridiculous. Um. Alright, so this is plan B, I guess. Uh. Yeah, I can't do chain tires with it, unfortunately, so I guess I'll leave these on here. That might be a problem. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh... Without chain tires, this thing is gonna struggle. Big time. Um... It might not even be able to get there. But what I'm thinking is if I can get it over here, maybe it's like long enough that I can just like go across or here. Wait a minute. What I need is something with a ridiculous approach angle. Um, See, it has the the Antarctic has that huge front overhang, that doesn't help it much. The Them is a little bit better. Um, you see, the six hundred five R is even that great at with the with the front overhang. This doesn't have, um. It doesn't have room for a, uh... I can't do a double cargo with it unless I use a trailer. And somehow taking a trailer over there sounds like an even worse idea. Uh... And the K700 has a pretty low... Front overhang, too. Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. See, this thing is long. Giggity. So it's going to be awkward to get it there, but it might be... Yeah, see, it's not very tall, though. The more I'm looking at this, the better it might be at it. Um, so we got the heavy hitch on there now, so that's great. We got to put this crane on, which weighs it down big time, but uh, the flatbed keeps it kind of light. Um, I 
I don't know if it's going to even be able to make it there. Well, let's try it. I'm running out of ideas, though. This does have a very good approach angle. And it's got the studded tires, so... I think this is going to be my best shot at actually getting something up on that stupid island. Yeah, I really don't know how the game was expecting you to get up there. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Unless there's just a spot that I don't know about. But... I don't know. This also has an autonomous winch, but, um, you know, flipping over on the ice there isn't going to really... The autonomous winch isn't going to help me if I flip over there. And also getting this thing back on its wheels is not easy because of the... It has a weird center of gravity. But it is an extremely good scout. It's actually better than a scout than most... In most senses, it can be used as a scout and it can do non-scout things too. Alright, so what I wanted to do, I wanted to grab the trailer down here with this. If I can do it without flipping it over. Like I said, that, that uh, crane adds quite a bit of weight to the back of it, which does hurt its performance a bit. Right. It's much smaller than the Antarctic, though. <laughs> we can just kind of sneak on here, over here on the side. Here, let's just do this. Um, what am I looking at here? Come on. There we go. All right. Got it. So now... Try to get through this nonsense without flipping over. Uh... Yeah. Go this way. That doesn't look... I mean, the water isn't that deep. I could probably... Yeah, you know what? Let's just go this way. So I was, I was kind of ranting and raving about this, about the burlap on an earlier episode, um, to justify some of the changes that I made to it. And I feel like just about all the changes I made were, were, are justified. Um, and really all I did was bump the power up slightly and, um, of course I made the, the changes to the tires and gave it permanent diff lock and, and the fuel. Uh, I did bump the fuel up a bit as well, which totally is in line with what this thing can do. It is a is an amazing beast. 
If you haven't read about it, you should go read about it. Um, it's almost unbelievable what it can do. It is uh, a pretty amazing machine. I feel like they kind of had to dumb it down a little bit in this game, otherwise it would it would be way too powerful. But then again, I I, I feel like if a, if a vehicle is going to overshadow some of the other ones, then why not let it, you know? They're not all of the vehicles are going to be the same. I keep keep saying that over and over again um as I play this and you know, just some vehicles are better than others. That's just the way it goes. And it doesn't mean that, you know, they shouldn't ever be used. Whoa, got snagged on the tree there. You know, that's kind of why, that's what my main reasoning behind making all the changes to the tires and everything that I did is that, in the diff box, is that, uh, it would, you know, encourages you to use different tires and use different trucks that you normally wouldn't use just because they're not good at something. Because I think the the vehicles are what make this game, in my opinion. So, you know, you may as well, may as well use them. Alright, so now, should I dip this thing in right here? Actually, wait a minute. I need to go back and get the cabin. Actually, no, the cabin's on this island, isn't it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here, but we're just going to drop her in and see if it can pick itself up on the other side here. See, I think if I get a different angle, it would be able to do it, I think. Now let's... Um, her out. Go back in. Come on. Damn it. So close. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. New. Okay. We can fix this. Nothing is fucked here. Okay, keep that wheel on the on the ground. Come on, grip. No. Yes. Yes. Okay, and of course, now I'm in the worst possible place because I have to try to turn this thing. Here, let's just go this way. New. No. What are we stuck on now? Okay, the trailer's stuck. That's all right. The trailer gets stuck. Usually, you just yank on it hard enough, it'll come out. <laughs> totally not realistic. <laughs> now, if I flip here, it's not that big of a deal. There's plenty of trees that I can try and right myself with, but I'd still rather not do it. I'm going to spend the whole damn episode just taking this stupid piece of crap cabin to this stupid ass fishers, fisherman. Okay, we don't want to go back in the water here. But I cannot seem to get the trailer to move the way I want it to move. Alright, send it. Uh oh. Okay, we're fine. We're not fine. There's nothing to hook on to. Crap. <sighs> Alright. We can do this. Yep. We're good. We're fine. Woo. Okay. <sighs> I mean, everything is totally in con under control here. This is exactly how I wanted it to go. Okay. Uh, 
All right, should be smooth sailing from here on out. I don't know if I can load that, uh, load the cabin up into this trailer. Oh goody, now the ice is breaking. What else, what else could go wrong? Sure, yeah, why not? I'm pretty sure the burlap can just kind of plow through it when that happens. Not quite as quickly as the Azov because it obviously does not have the weight or the power. But it does have the tires. These tires are very fancy. All right, I'm gonna try this first without detaching the trailer. See how it goes. It's gonna be hard enough to back this thing up. <sighs> this freaking, this is the worst. I keep saying it. This is the worst mission I have ever done in this game. Thus far. I'm, I do have you know, some thousand odd hours into this game, so it's not like, not like I'm new or anything like that. <laughs> Besides Skyrim and Binding of Isaac, this is the third, I think, in my top five for time played. All right, hopefully this crane can lift this thing. It can. And it's not tipping over the burlap either, so that's great. Okay, it is not lifting it now. Okay, there it goes. That should be good enough to pack it. There we go. Uh, all right. No, this is going to suck. Um. So, wherever they wanted you to come back up onto this island, it's not right here, right? Because all of this ice is breaking. And I have a feeling that cabin's going to pop out of this trailer at least once. Oh, by the way, the real-life burlap is also amphibious. Yeah, it came out. That's all right. We'll just... We'll just straighten her out here and load it back up. <clears throat> Yeah, the real life burlap you can you can take it through water and uh, it's got a little propeller, little outboard. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Obviously, you can't do that in this game. Would be really really sick if you could though. All right, this is not the best angle. I think we can make it work. There we go. Yeah, this crane is uh, not super strong. But it's good enough. Like, again, you know, the burlap isn't super heavy. Oh, goody, it fell out again already. That's awesome. I made it, I made it three feet.
Okay, that should be good enough. <laughs> Just repeating myself. Okay. Now, can can we go now? That would be swell. Yeah, all of this is breaking. And that's definitely going to fall out of there again. Come on, Burlack, you can do it. Just because this game is, is BS doesn't mean that you have to give up. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Yeah, jeez. Alright, pull hard. Um, excuse me? There we go. Speed and power solves everything. Alright, this should be solid enough. But we can at least like take a little break and then figure out how we're supposed to get up into the the camp because there are literally no roads going up there and it's completely and totally surrounded by trees oh my god this is ridiculous all right <laughs> The, the clearest part looked like the spot where I came across, like right here. Or maybe... Or maybe through here, I guess depending on what the trees... The tree density looks like. Uh, see, I hate this kind of stuff in this game when it doesn't give you any indication of where you're supposed to go. See, there's no way I'm getting through that. There's trees and rocks. Unless I can go to the left of those... No, I can't. Because there's rocks right here. So I am going to pass on going that way. It just does not seem like I can make it. I think there's just too much crap in the way. So, my next option is somewhere around here. Um, so up through here, I guess. Okay, yep, there's some smaller trees which I should be able to roll over. Uh, but then I'm gonna maybe get into some trouble here, so what about going up this way. Let's try that. I got a pretty clear shot. If I get it, if I get into trouble then I'm kind of screwed though. That's a full-size tree there. Careful. Easy. So I, I cannot see what is in front of me right now. Uh... Holy crap, I see the... drop-off zone.
I still don't know if I can get to it. All right, all I gotta say is what kind of a freaking bozo decides to put a camp right here. I like it doesn't even put anything up either. It's just like, okay, on to the next one. I'm tempted to leave this stupid trailer here. No fanfare, no nothing. It's just like, all right. Thanks, idiot. Do more tasks now. <sighs> uh, I'm stuck on something. Crap. We'll just yeet off of this little cliff here. What could go wrong? Ugh, there we go. Boom. Burlacked. <laughs> Alright, and just dive straight into the water here, because why not? And can it get up this? It cannot, and the water is pushing me around. I do not want that to happen. New, no, don't, don't. Okay, quick, throttle, climb, climb it. It's not climbing it. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. I think we're good. Oh, God. The trailer is pushing me. Oh, no. This is not going great. Come on. Yes. Oh, my God. There's nothing to attach to. Oh, my God. Oh no, what am I going to do now? More speed? Low? Low range? This is not good. Um, I don't think it's got the power to, uh, to go against the current. It does not. Okay. Um, well, this is not a great situation to be in.
This was the initial, like, drop-in point, wasn't it? I feel like I could probably get out of here if I, if I get lucky. I just don't think it's gonna, it's not gonna catch. Alright, here we go. We'll use that chunk of ice as like a, no, not enough. Damn it. All right, I think I think it's just going to get washed away and that's going to be the end of the burlap. <laughs> Probably going to have to recover here. Um I wonder if there's any chance I could get the trailer to bump up there. Nope. All right, here. Let me try something. Yeah, even with the trailer detached, it, it cannot overcome the water. Nope. All right. Well. Okay, so the trailer is going to be just stuck in there forever. All right, that's fine. We can deal with that. Um... So next, okay, once again, the map got turned around, which is really weird when it happens. Let's see. That's not right either. It's this way. Okay. I was going to say, what the heck? Okay. So do we use the bandit again to do these remaining ones or should I use something different? I mean, I can use, I can use any truck that can do a crane and a flatbed. Um, you know, obviously the, you know, the, the Brigadier could probably do just fine. Um, I don't know that the 605R can do a crane in a flatbed. I don't think it can. Uh, the P12, um, cannot do a, a regular flatbed. It has to use that module. Maybe I should do like, yeah, maybe I should do the Ace off 7. Or, let's see, the Dan can't do that either, but the Tatra can. Um, we got the cool Tatra crane and the cool Tatra bed. Um, and the cool Tatra tires, but if we can do chains, we should do that. We can do chains. Okay. We're going to do more Tatra stuff, because I said so. All right, so... Can it get through this now is the question. It's kind of big. It would probably be safer to go the, the longer way around, I bet. Let's just do that. All right. So yeah, this here is um, one of my favorite trucks in the game. I mean, it's a Tatra, so uh, of course it is. But I don't think I'm, I'm. I don't think I'm saying the name of it right. Tatra, I think is how you're supposed to say it. I don't know. I'm not Czech, so I don't know. <laughs> I do have a friend that speaks Czech. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've, I've talked about Tatra and all of the crazy stuff they've done over the years and their amazing trucks, and this one's no exception. Uh, this thing is amazing. Um, the Tatra gives specs on this thing, uh, on their website. Um, it's been in, it's been in production for a long time. Um, it's mo mostly used for, like, specialty reasons and things like that. Uh, military, stuff like that. 
but like the armored version of it um which of course weighs more and has additional protections and more heavier duty things and stuff like that like it can still go like like 160 kilometers an hour or something just silly like that like like oh my god <laughs> That's a big machine to go that fast with with all those wheels and the four wheel drive and everything like holy crap. All right, made it through that without much issue. Not surprising. All right, which way am I going here? Um, I think I'm going right here, aren't I? Yes, I want to go right. I'm going to go down to that spot, pick up these other stupid-ass things. There's a cargo container and some consumables. Could have used a three-slot unit for this and gotten them all at once, but... Ugh. Like, the Azov 7 could have done that, because I'm pretty sure it's got a three-slot bed. One of the things I really love about this truck, specifically, and the Phoenix, too, is just how incredibly stable they are. You can load these things up with all kinds of stuff, and they just don't care. Whoa! Okay. There's a uh, mission in. Uh, let's see. Is that in Alaska or is that in? Yeah, I believe it's one of the Alaska maps. Um, the one where the uh, the one that has the big north-south road, and there's the uh, airport on the south end of it and the um one of the I think it's the dairy longhorn is stuck down in a hole and you have to pull it out and all that stuff and there's one of the one of the missions is that you need to deliver like like eight I think it's eight um concrete um planks or blocks like the big two slot concrete slabs I think it's eight of them, if I remember correctly. And I first tried to do it with... Um... Like, four at a time with the big semi-truck trailer, and I got it stuck on that twisty road that goes alongside. So I came down there with, with the Tatra Force here, and I was able to stack up, you know, one in the bed, but then I stacked three more on top of it and kept it, like, held down with the crane. And it, like, handled it just like a champ. <laughs> it was unbelievable. They could carry four at a time. I knocked the job out in two trips, and that was that. It was, uh, it was pretty awesome. It, it was at that point, I'm like, okay, this thing is freaking amazing. right through these rocks here. Ain't no big thing. The only thing I changed on this was I gave it, um, the wheels turned extremely slow by default, and so I increased the turn speed slightly and also gave them a little bit more turning angle. And that's it, pretty much. It doesn't really need anything else. And look how it's like smooth it just... Oh crap! <laughs> I'm like, look how smooth it goes through this, and I flip it over immediately. Ah. 
That's a tricky spot. I couldn't see it. Couldn't see it. Uh, well, that sucks. I think, unfortunately, that's going to be the end of the episode. I was going to try to at least pick up one of those other loads and, uh, and bring it to where it belonged, but, um... Yeah, I just don't have one more. I don't have any more time to drive this all the way back down there. So this is gonna do it for me. Um, I'm gonna turn the lights on though, because this thing looks sweet. Yes. So as always, <clears throat> thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Sorry to end on such a a uh, a downer, but we'll get it next time. <laughs> um, you know, if you're liking the Snowrunner content, please leave a like and maybe a comment. Uh, let me know how I'm doing with this. Uh. I'm look it looks like I'm going to be doing about maybe 7 episodes of this initially uh just to cover the days that I'm going to be gone on vacation so it's up to you guys if you want me to do more um or if you want me to reserve it for doing streams with Snowrunner because I think this would be a great game to stream along um and talk to you guys while I play so hey just let me know whatever it's all good with me I will see you all in the next one take care Bye.